going on? We are live. What's going on, everybody? I hope all of you are doing well. Welcome to the live stream. So as you guys are coming in, hey, what's going on, bro? As you guys are coming in, make sure you hit that like button. I'd really appreciate it. You already know it goes a very long way with the channel. I hope all of you guys are doing okay. So let's talk about the cruise news for today's live stream. Uh, we'll wait for a couple more people to get in, then we'll go ahead and get started. As you guys are coming in, make sure that like button, I'd really appreciate it. You know, it goes a very long way with the channel. I hope everybody's doing well, and uh, hopefully you guys can hear me all right. If you guys can hear me, of course, let's do a sound check. Give you a thumbs up, I'd really appreciate it. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. Really good. Back in Cozumel. I'm excited. A lot of cool stuff going on over here. Let's see, we only got four people in here so far. Let me double check on the live stream because it's not popping up on my computer here. Let's see. How are you? Not seeing the like button. That's strange. Uh, it should be down on the bottom. I know some people from time to time say that they can't see it. I'm not sure exactly what's going on with that. But I, I see that every live stream. It should be down on the bottom. As you guys are coming in, guys, of course, please make sure you hit that like button. I'd really appreciate it. It just kind of lets YouTube know that there's a live stream going on and it might potentially promote it to more people. So just make sure you hit that like button. Hope everybody's doing all right. Thank you, Robin. Yeah, let me see what's going on here. Um, okay, people are coming in. YouTube has not been uh, my best friend lately, I'll tell you that. They've been demonetizing my videos and not showing it to anybody, shadow banning my videos. It's been crazy. So, yeah, hopefully we can get a little bit more people in here. We'll go ahead and start the stream. So I know a lot of people have been freaking out about what's going on with Celebrity Edge. We're going to break all that down, let you know what's going on with the, uh, the Code Red that CDC has put the Celebrity Edge on. We'll talk about that. We'll talk about the CDC versus the state of Florida, AKA Ron DeSantis. We'll talk about a couple things. That doesn't sound good. Why is YouTube doing that? Good question. So yesterday I pointed, I put out a video and I guess if you guys saw my video yesterday, it, I guess it kind of looks like there's uh, an illegal substance in the background. And for that reason, YouTube demonetized the entire video. And when YouTube does that, it doesn't show the video really to anybody. It doesn't promote it to anybody as well. So it just causes like a, a snowball effect of my videos just not performing well. So yeah, it, it sucks, but it is what it is, I guess, at this point. There's not much I can do about it. Guys, as you're coming in here, make sure you hit that like button. I'd really appreciate it. Let me see, we only got 23, 24 people in here. Typically we have more by this time. Let me go ahead and check and see what's going on. Because for some reason, the live stream is not showing up on, on this, this channel. Oh, there it is, okay, cool. How's everybody doing? We'll wait a couple more minutes and then we'll go ahead and start the, the cruise news for today. Just got notified. Okay. So I guess people are slowly creeping in. I guess I didn't notice the problem that YouTube saw. You missed what I just said. I'm just, we're not talking about cruise news just yet. Waiting for a couple more people to get in. But I was just talking about how YouTube has been demonetizing my videos and just kind of shadow banning my videos because of one mistake that they made on their end. Where am I? I'm in Cozumel. Specifically, I'm at a, at a uh, bar called No Name, No Name Bar. It's usually for the crew, but it's a really cool spot. You guys should check it out. Just got notified. Okay, we got people coming in here. Got people coming in. So for today's live stream, guys, of course, while you're hitting that like button as you're coming in, we are going to talk about what's going on with Celebrity Edge. As you guys have been heard, they're, going, they're basically on cold red by the CDC. So I'm going to talk about what's going on with that. Justin, you're late on this. One crew member off now. Well, I wouldn't say late. I just put out a video earlier today, and it's... Yeah, you, by the time you make these videos, it's a while. So I just wait until my live, my normal live stream time until to actually talk about this. Is Lauren with you? Uh, are you going on the Mardi Gras? Yeah, I'll be on the Mardi Gras inaugural sailing. Lauren is with me. She's just talking to some some friends right now. Ain't glad to be there. No, it's good to be here. We're slow at getting notified. Yeah, YouTube hasn't exactly been my best friend lately. Just another way the CDC is over controlling. Yeah, I've been hearing this literally all day. So essentially, what happened was. The crew members, all 900 crew members on board Celebrity Edge got tested and one out of those 900 last week tested positive. They were asymptomatic and they were taken off of the ship. But since then, everybody has been apparently retested and nobody else came out as negative. But because of that one person, that asymptomatic person that came out as positive, they decided to put that entire ship on the red list. Amen. You bad boy. How am I bad? What did I do? What did I do wrong? What are you drinking? It's a uh, mojito. Guys, as you're coming in, please make sure you hit that like button. I'd really appreciate it. 
But yeah, that's what's going on with the Celebrity Edge. So it's nothing crazy. Hopefully by the time they set sail this Saturday, they'll actually be able to get all this worked out and take them off of the red list. That way it's not an issue. But I know a lot of people are saying this is overreach and this is the CDC trying to get their hand in the cookie jar, so to speak. And uh, unfortunately it is what it is. I'm, I'm not surprised. Shirt of the day. This is my Mickey shirt, one of my favorites. YouTube thinks we're bad. We think you're the best. Oh, I appreciate it. Thank you. Yeah, YouTube has been like shadow banning all my videos because of one mistake that they, they made. When are you going to ask the beautiful girl to marry you? Hey, look, all in due time. We're getting some, some official paperwork done first. 37 days until the Mardi Gras. I can't wait. If you guys are going to the Mardi Gras, I'll see you there. Just look for the guy that's talking a lot and doing a bunch of backflips. <laughs> Hey, Jay, do you think the sunshine will sail out of Charleston before the scheduled dry dock in October? We're scheduled for after Thanksgiving. As far as the sailings, I've been saying this uh, time and time again. When it comes to the sailings that are set to sail anytime after, let's say, July, let's wait and see what happens between, let's say, the Edge sailing this Saturday and all the cruises that are set to go out after July. YouTube has favorites. Oh, yeah, they definitely do. It's all big get, getting, like, kind of part of the algorithm. Once you get in, like, let's say Don, he's been doing YouTube since, like, 2006 and Tony's been on it non-stop credit to him by the way he's been doing his thing once you kind of get vetted into the algorithm YouTube will definitely promote your video a little bit more but it's not like a favorite it's more of like you've been putting in the work you're kind of validated because people always come in to watch your videos that's how it works hey from Florida hey how you doing how's it going hopefully I'll be embarking on the Mardi Gras and I can meet you I hope so if you guys are going the Mardi Gras I'll see you there what is your tier ranking on cruise lines I don't want to put that out there because your ranking on the cruise line as far as what the favorite is and what isn't, it's, it's all down to personal preference. Are you working in, in Cozumel Playa del Carmen is your, your daughter? What do you mean? I'm working out here, yeah. One person tests positive and they shut down, they shut the ship down. Two people test positive on Millennium and it's been fine, makes no sense. Yeah, unfortunately, it's kind of one of those situations. We've seen this, though, outside of cruising as well. The CDC and all these organizations in these cities and government officials, unfortunately, because of how politicized all of this has gotten, nobody can deny it. They kind of pick and choose what is OK and what isn't OK, even if it's in the same uh, within the same industry. It's just kind of been that way across the board, unfortunately. You know, guys, like I said, it is what it is when it comes to that. Are you working in Cozumel or by Ardell Karma Dancing? I'm, I'm working in Cozumel, but I'm just doing YouTube work. There's more to it than what we're hearing. You might be right. No, uh, Elaine, I agree with you. The, the thing is that I try to stress on my channel, regardless of what I'm saying or what anybody that's saying that isn't, even a representative of a cruise line, chances are we are not getting the full story. There's always more going on on the back end than people realize. Now, it can't, it's not always bad, right? But there's always more stuff going on on the back end that isn't getting put out to the general public. Because all this stuff that we see and that we hear has been screened, it's been checked, and it's been verified. So that's just how it is. Norwegian canceled our cruise. We're looking for a nice exclusive resort. You have any ideas or suggestions? The, the med? <laughs> Are you talking about over here? There's a, there's a lot of mountain this way, to be honest. And any, in my opinion, anything over here in Cozumel is usually pretty decent. I, I haven't heard anything bad, but I honestly haven't been to any resorts out here. I've been to an all-inclusive, which would be Mr. Sancho's, but I had, a, I had a great service over there. The Edge is going to sail this weekend that you know of. To my knowledge, yes, the Celebrity Edge is still set to sail. I do believe, because again, this, this apparent Code 3 that they put, or Level 3 that they put on, or Level Red, whatever it is they're calling it by the CDC, essentially what's happening is this is what happened due to last week. A crew member did test positive that was asymptomatic. What's your favorite port? I'm here right now. As far as cruise ports, to me, the uh, Cozumel takes the cake. Now, given, I haven't been to it a lot, like a ton of, of cruise ports. I've been to pretty much every cruise port in the Caribbean. So just, just kind of take that with a grain of salt. But Cozumel is my favorite if you want something touristy and non-touristy as well. There's a lot to do around here. Five-star resorts. Oh, look, I don't have five-star resort money, so you might have to just go ahead and YouTube that one. <laughs> Question, what ports are you going to, and what are you planning to do while... Oh, what, what are you planning to do while, while on your cruise? So I have a ton of videos coming out when I'm on the uh, Carnival Mardi Gras. The ports we're going to, we have, uh, what, we have one sea day, I believe, and then after that, we'll be going to Puerto Rico. We're going to Nassau, Bahamas, and then we're going to Amber Cove as well. That's the itinerary plan for the, the uh, inaugural sailing for the Mardi Gras. 
Nice, I love driving around Cozumel. Yeah, I'll be driving around tomorrow. I'm also going scuba diving for the first time. I can't wait, I'm so excited. Any port you can sit at with a, gold, a cold drink at the beach is a good port. Agreed, 100% agreed. Guys, we got 120 people in here. Make sure you hit that like button, I'd really appreciate it. We can get to 100 likes, I know we can do it. Maybe I'll do a backflip or jump in the water again today. Hit like a backflip or a front flip into the water. Um, and then another thing that I want to clarify too, because I, I still see people talking about what's going on with the CDC. A lot of people are still worried about what's going on as far as the Alaska, Alaska sailings. So as of right now, how everything is working out with the Alaska Tourism Recovery Act and the CDC and the framework and whatnot, guys, what's happening with the CDC and the state of Florida is not at this point in time going to affect Alaska cruises whatsoever. Now, maybe down the road, of course, if Florida continues to win because they've only won the preliminary, uh, the preliminary court hearing, if they win the actual trial, then, of course, this will give some grounds and some validation for Texas and Alaska to join suit as far as that goes. So then we can maybe see some changes down the road. But this is also considering the fact that we have three bills that are currently in play to make the what's happening to the PBSA and the Alaska Tourism Recovery Act, the changes to the Passenger Vessel Services Act, uh, possibly permanent. How does this happen? No guests, all crew in quarantine. That is a good question. I'll have to look into that. I have a friend on the edge. Maybe I can just try to reach out to them and see what's going on. A good friend of mine from, from uh, where was she from again? She, I had a brain fart here. <laughs> Eastern Europe. I'll reach out to her and see what's going on over there. We can skip Nassau. I'd rather go to a private island. I, I, don't, I don't blame you. I'm not a huge fan of, uh, of Nassau. Usually I go to Goodman's Bay, get a jet ski, and go on about my day. That's what I do when I'm in, in the Bahamas. When you go to the Puerto Rico, are you going to Casa Bacardi? Yeah, I went, I went there last time I was over there. Definitely going to have to check it out again. Bottom line, if you haven't gotten shots, shame on you for ruining others' crews. Oh, I wouldn't say that. Randy, don't go that far. Come on. And you shouldn't be on ships if you haven't gotten shots. That's not true. A lot of people can't get it for medical reasons, religious reasons. And honestly, I don't think it's anybody's business at the end of the day. People have their reasons for not getting the jab, and I don't blame them. How did Tony react when you informed him about the breakdance challenge? He told me he got to practice. A lot of practice to do before we meet up next time. Was on the Adventures of the Seas last week and cruising in 118 days, hopefully. What ship? I saw, by the way, I did, I was lucky enough to see on my ferry ride over here to Cozumel yesterday, we saw the Adventure of the Seas leaving. Beautiful ship, beautiful view to see. The right mind your business, you're right. I haven't gotten my shots and I will never get it. If you're scared, stay home. Ah, oh, <laughs> come on guys. Remember, let's keep these chats civil. Uh, like I said, guys, I believe on both sides. I understand people getting it. I understand people, why people aren't getting it. I really do. Unfortunately, it's all political at the end of the day when it comes down to it, and I, I don't like that. Carnival Pride out of Baltimore. Good, good. How are the inaugural sailings different? Well, to be honest with you, they're kind of not. There's just a lot of hype. Usually a lot of important people are on the inaugural sailings. Hey, we hit 100 likes. Thank you, guys. Let's get to 200 now. Let's keep it moving. Uh, so typically on the inaugural sailings, what will happen is you'll see a lot of important people that are on board the ship. You got VIPs, you got CEOs and whatnot, but that's usually the gist of it, to be honest. It's just a lot of hype, really. And it's the first ship, so a lot of people, well, it's the first sailing, so a lot of people want to be part of history. So they just dub it the inaugural sailing. I've noticed they've started hiring soloists and dual, art, dual artists, but I haven't heard too much about the show band positions. Have you heard anything about entertainment being hired again? Yeah, I have some friends that are in rehearsals currently right now. But the thing about all this is there's going to be a lot of budget cuts because typically, even though cruising itself is somewhat a form of entertainment, the first thing to go is the budget for entertainment. So from, my, from what I under, understand about the, let's say, the Adventure of the Seas, when I talked to Tony, he was telling me that the entertainment was, was good. It was as good as it normally is for Royal Caribbean. So it just depends, really. I mean, honestly, I think it, it would take like an inside perspective to understand that the the style and the amount, the type of entertainment has deteriorated a little bit. So I may be able to notice, but your average Joe probably can't point it out. Odyssey of the Seas, September 29th, hopefully. I hope so. It's good to hear. Guys, we got more people coming in, 130 so far. Make sure you guys hit that like button. I enjoyed all the shows last week. Good to know, good to know. Well, hopefully when I make my regular videos, YouTube will stop shadow banning me and we can actually uh, get my videos out there too. But we'll, we'll see, we'll see. I just need the sun and drink. I don't blame you. 
Almost no one can't get the vaccine for medical reasons. Lots of people say they can't. You were right about it being political. The vast majority of people who say they can't are able but aren't. Well, again, like I said, I, I understand both sides of it. I really do. You got to think like if, if you see the really, really awkward pushing of the vaccine, right? You got celebrities and donuts being offered. That's, that's not the way to go about it, in my opinion. It doesn't work. I think DeSantis will make an exception on the Florida bill if country, if a country, St. Martin, for example, requires the vaccine. Like airplane, if you can get on board something required by country you are traveling to. Yeah, I, I think there's, there's definitely some changes coming. There's going to be a lot of things coming for the industry, some good, some bad. But as long as we get back to resuming operations, I think that's the important part. However we can, that right there should be the number one objective. Hey, Diane's here. How's it going? I watch all your videos, greatly appreciate the info, info you talk about. Oh, I, I appreciate you tuning in. It, it really means a lot. You have no idea. Pride in September 26th, we hope. Well, hopefully you can get on that, on that ship. I did the inaugural sailing of Harmony of the Seas, and we got different gifts, fireworks before the sail away with a ton, was it? A tug spraying water. It was exciting. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. The inaugural sailings are just, it's, it's you're part of history, and there is a lot of hype involved. That's, other than that, that's, you know, you, you might get a chance to meet some of the VIPs, CEOs, whatnot, executives. But other than that, that that's really all it is. Main point, you're a part of history. Joints for jabs is another one. You get pot if you're vaccinated. Yeah, but that's what I'm saying. That's a little weird. It doesn't matter if you smoke or not. I just think that's not a good promotional tool. Right, so here's the thing. Even in Florida, right, they, had, uh, they were offering vaccinations at these EDM festivals. And I don't know if you guys know about what happens at these festivals. There's a lot of... Uh, illegal substances being uh, exchanged over there party favors not a great idea thank you diane yeah guys make sure you hit that like button if you're just coming in let's get the 200 likes we got 150 people in here so far ship life thank you for defending the rights of the americans choose to get vaccinated and choose to uh, do not i mean again it's like for me i don't look at it as rights i don't look at it as right or wrong i don't look at it as as what people should be doing we're all people at the end of the day and everybody has their own reasons for doing what they're doing in life somebody might think something is weird somebody might think something is cool that's just how it is end of story have you noticed the staff is doing extra cleanings for high traffic areas due to covid they would do something like that they would do something like that if there was a neural outbreak. Yeah, they're keeping it the same way. They're doing the same thing if there was a neurovirus outbreak. The video keeps buffering. Guys, uh, it, it's showing that it's clean on my end. If you guys are having problems, let me know in the comment sections. I'd appreciate it. Is anybody else having problems with the stream? I could try to move closer to the Wi-Fi. Let me know. Or give me a thumbs up if you're, if you're, not, if you're doing okay. They're giving pot in Minitoba for people fully vaccinated at one store. Weird. It really is. It really is. As an ex-Royal Caribbean employee, I've gotten all my shots. I wouldn't go if, if, I would be affect, if I would be affecting the cruise lines and CDC. We'll close them down and I will, come on folks, I said what I needed to. Yeah, I get it, I get it, Randy, but still. People are, are looking at this from a personal perspective and as a end-all be-all. The vaccine is not an end-all be-all, just, just, just so we're clear. And again, just because somebody is telling you to push this right most of the people unfortunately that are talking about this heard this stuff from the news okay they hear this stuff from mainstream media this is the only way to get back to normal and people see this not to protect others because the truth is most people don't really care about others you care about your family you care about your loved ones you care about your crews being interrupted let's let's be real here that's what people are worried about i'm just being completely honest with you guys i don't think anybody's going to argue that uh, people around here are pretending like they, they, they care about their neighbor. Now, given, I love people. I care about people. But the vast majority of people don't care. They're thinking about getting back to normal and for selfish reasons. Is tourism picking up in Cozumel? Are the ferries going to Playa del Carmen still limited? So the ferry is still going at, like just about every hour, every other hour. We've been taking it back and forth. Uh, but no, the tourism here is, is uh, pretty much non-existent. There's people coming here, of course, to go to the resorts and whatnot that are coming in from Playa del Carmen. They're coming for a couple days, but it's nowhere near what you would expect it to be when the cruise ship traffic is in. And because of that, you're seeing a lot of these. If you go down the strip here downtown, which I have video footage coming out, by the way, guys, just stay tuned. But if you go here downtown, there's pretty much not a lot of people out here. And most of these businesses are closed down. Great picture, sound and content. Okay, no buffering here. Thank you. Thank you, uh, Monty. I appreciate it. Good to know. My next cruise is the inaugural sailing on the Carnival Mardi Gras. I am completely booked. I've got everything set up. I'll be on there. Stupid Florida storms. Yeah, that's Florida for you. 
any good coffee in Mexico, it depends where you go. It really does. I'm not a big coffee drinker. My girlfriend is, but. One airline is charging extra for clothing cleaning. Uh, interesting. Very, very interesting. How much longer can the cruise line stay afloat if, a low, if, if they lost most of the gravy train? Last time I heard, not much longer before they have to file bankruptcy. Depends on the cruise line, and it depends how, how all this goes moving forward. What is this? Mmm. Oh, here, you take the mojito. I'll take the mango margarita. <laughs> I, have, I have learned it from my daughter who has a master's degree in public health. I believe it is respons it's a responsible thing to do for everyone. What? Yeah, I get it. I get it. But again, you talk to one doctor, they're going to say something just like in any type of medical history's past. You talk to one doctor, they're going to give you one, one idea of what to do. You talk to another one, they're going to give you some more medical advice on what to do. It's hard to say who's right or wrong these days because we know politics and money are involved. Are you sharing drinks with Lauren? Yeah, my girlfriend. Didn't catch the name, but I saw it today. Uh, for what? Drinks look so good. Yeah, this thing is amazing. It's a mango margarita. Lauren just gave it over to me. What's your favorite place to, what's your favorite place to eat in Mexico? Look, I gotta say it because I'm a crew, former crew member, right? We, we gotta come over here and get some food at No Name Bar. This is the place to be. They got scuba diving over here. They got a beautiful, like, it's, it's the ocean, but they got like a closed off area for, for the pool as well. It's beautiful, it really is. That's why everybody gets a second and third opinion. Exactly. I've been saying this since the beginning, right? When somebody unfortunately have, let's say, cancer, if, if they go to one doctor and they say, oh, there's no hope for you, are they gonna give up? Or are they gonna go get a second opinion or a third opinion from another doctor that can offer them a potential solution? This is the same thing. Mango margarita looks good. It is, it is. Due to budget, budget constraints, Royal Caribbean brands are only going to play kazoos in five gallon plastic buckets <laughs> interesting <laughs> that's funny i'm going to owe owe my credit card a kidney i'm i'm repaying all kinds of stuff for the mardi gras including premium internet now i'm not gonna lie to you i i might have to go ahead and jump on that premium internet right there with you if you're still listening right now what is the price for the internet because i might have to do it and just kind of write it off as a business expense because i want to do some live streams What's your favorite food to eat there? I don't really have a favorite food. Now given, I do love some mahi-mahi whenever I'm in the Caribbean. So let's go with that. Let's go with that, mahi-mahi. What else we gotta talk about? The uh, Canadian, Canadian cruise band, lost sound for some reason. Anybody else losing sound or can you guys hear me okay? Give me a thumbs up if you guys can hear me. Matter of fact, hit that like button too. Dressing about $14 a day. Okay, good to know. I have to double check on the Mardi Gras, but if it's fourteen dollars a day, I, I can definitely spare that. Bring your internet was a hundred dollars, hundred one dollars total. Okay, good. I still got to go uh, put all the paper, like not paperwork. I got to fill out all the information and stuff for the Mardi Gras still because I just finally got my payment and stuff approved. The background's where I want to be. I'm about to jump in that water after this. I'm going, so I'm going scuba diving in two days for the first time. I'm so excited. I wanted to go scuba diving since I was a little kid. Can't wait. Okay, cool. We got sound. You guys can hear me okay. Hopefully the stream is going as planned as well. What else we got to talk about? We're getting on sidetrack. You guys keep asking me questions. We're talking about cool stuff. Uh, so, look, we got to talk about this Canadian cruise ban as well. I don't think a lot of people watched the video that I put out today. Because, again, YouTube, because of my video yesterday, is like shadow banning my videos. But today, I did talk about what was going on with uh, the Canadian cruise ban and whatnot. So, as of right now, you have the representative or the businesses, the... the uh, Hiring departments, what labor departments over there on, uh, over in Canada, they're trying to urge the, the government over in Canada to hopefully allow cruising to happen again. Now, we've seen what happened, right? We all saw at the beginning of the year, the Canadian authorities came in and said no cruising until February, basically March 1st of 2022. That's, that's insane. Uh, I don't blame the cruise lines for what they're doing. I don't blame anybody or the government officials for trying to permanently pass the bill that would make the changes, the temporary changes to the PBSA, the Passenger De Vessel Services Act, permanent. I don't blame them because the cruise lines needed people to have their back and they didn't. AJ from Indy, wish I was there, wish we were there. If you, were, if you guys were here, we'd have a giant party, I'll tell you that. Look, group cruise coming up next year. Just be prepared, all right? We're coming. I appreciate all you guys. We got 170 people in here. If you could hit that, that like button, I'd really appreciate it, guys. 
But yeah, so we got this cruise ban going on, and I don't, I don't know what's gonna happen to be honest. Let's see what the, uh, what is that, the premier of, of Canada? Let's see what he does. Maybe he'll release that ban that they got until 2022. They need to. Who is that? Scott, Scott Weber. Thank you so much for the five dollar super chat. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Wow. Hope the group cruise is on Royal. Look, I'm, uh, I'll be completely honest with you, straight up. I'm, I'm looking for a group cruise on uh, NCL. Somewhere where we could probably go to Cozumel. That's the plan. So it's probably going to be sometime, around, maybe around this time, coming into 2022. How is the demographic on the crew? Is it mostly Filipinos? Mostly Filipinos are had to change due to COVID. Well, I haven't been on ship, but I got a lot of friends that were on ships and, and are about to be on ships. They're, most of them are Filipinos. Things have, the game has not changed. There was that situation with India, uh, but they're, they're all getting back on the ship as well. But whatever you would normally see on the, on the ship as far as their demographic, yeah, Filipinos. But of course, you got, you got literally dozens and dozens of nationalities on board, typically in the engine room, and a lot of people that you wouldn't see normally. All ships go to Cozumel. I wish. Well, so the thing is, the Celebrity Edge is going to be here next Wednesday. So I, I definitely got to check it out. I don't know. I'm, I might have to come back out this way. First cruise ship leaves the U.S. is coming over here to Cozumel next Wednesday. Oh, we got Scott in the house. What's going on, Scott? Hope you're doing all right, man. We all know why Justin wants a group cruise with Norwegian. I don't have to say why. You're right. But I'm going to say why. Oreo cheesecake. That's why. <laughs> right, so this, this mango. Lauren. Lauren. Oh, she can't hear me. I don't want to yell in the mic. This thing is good. Leader of the Canada of Canada is a prime minister. Okay, yeah, thank you. I thought it was premier or prime minister, something like that. There he is, Scott, right on time. That's what I'm talking about. Guys, if you haven't seen Scott's notification, guys, if you have not joined the Facebook group, I suggest you do. We're definitely growing. We got a lot of experienced people in there, myself included. You get notifications when I post my videos. A lot of great conversations going on in there as well. So make sure you guys join that Facebook group. My uh, moderator, Scott, he just put a link in the feed as well, and then it'll be in the description box of every video, too. Group Cruise will have a Carlton dance-off. Oh, I'm going to be doing more than a Carlton on my Group Cruise. I'll tell you that right now. When are you heading back to Florida? Beginning of July. Beginning of July. Now, I'm only going to go spend time with my son. Otherwise, guys, I would not be leaving here. I'd be staying here up until my cruise. Any information on Mediterranean cruise? What do you want to know? Uh, are, you, are you trying to get on a specific, sh uh, specific ship? Are you trying to go there as an American? What, what's the deal? What do you want to know about the Mediterranean? That would be like calling your president a governor. Oh, well, sorry about that. Didn't mean it in a disrespectful way. But yeah, the prime minister. You love Cozumel. I love Cozumel. I don't want to leave. I'm only leaving because of my son. That's it. Cozumel, I, I could live here. I could. I was thinking about staying here a little bit longer. I, I just might. I'm supposed to leave on the 4th. But my flight is flexible, so I, I, I just might stay here a couple more days. Might have to. We'll see. Dazzle, what's going on? Hope you're doing all right. Guys, make sure you hit that like button as you're coming in. I'd appreciate it. Now, again, guys, just so I can reiterate, because we got a lot more people in here now. When it comes to the CDC versus Florida, it does not affect Alaska cruises. All right? It's not affecting them right now. It's just the preliminary court hearing that's going on with the CDC versus the state of Florida and Ron DeSantis. All right? So if, if things get finalized as far as the trial, because we've only done the preliminary court hearing, maybe things will change. But as of right now, we don't have to worry about it. Do you ever miss ship life? I used to, but I started working 40 hours a week and I have two, two consecutive days off. I'm over it. I do miss it. I miss the fun. Now, if I were to get a contract like I did, then maybe I'd, I'd consider it. Jay saved the towel animals. That's what I'm talking about. I might have to take some pictures when I go on the ship. Where am I? I'm in Cozumel, Mexico. I might show you guys around if you want to see what's going on over here. Watch no reason or Norwegian get over or uh, get rid of the Oreo cheesecake. Look, if if, Nor if NCL gets rid of the Oreo cheesecake, I'm going to write a letter to the CEO. I, I, I won't have a choice. I'm writing a letter to NCL, and I'm going to tell them right now. I'm going to get an army of people, and we're going to all write letters. That's how serious it is. 
I missed it. What's up with the edge? So the edge was put on level uh, code red or uh, red level by the CDC. This is all due to a situation that happened last week. All 900 crew members were tested for the virus and one came back as positive. They were asymptomatic, got them off the ship. But because of that, apparently they decided to put the ship on code red. That's the situation. So hopefully by their sailing on Saturday, all this should be resolved and they can go back to normal and there's no issue whatsoever. At least that's, that's the idea. But I know a lot of people are saying that right now it's just the CDC trying to cause a couple more problems and issues. I, I hope that's not the case, but hey, you never know. You never know. Everybody's playing politics these days. Who cares about two days off a week when you live and experience, you live and experience more on the ship than you ever could on land. Yeah, you're right. Have you ever been to Cabo? No, I haven't. I need to go over there. My moderator, Diane, is there all the time. But if she's over there, I'm going to tell you right now, I probably don't have a Cabo of money. <laughs> Justin is going to all the all the Karen on NCL. Oh, go all Karen. Yeah, I might have to. You're right. I might have to. I need my Oreo cheesecake. We got to save it. Hashtag save the Oreo cheesecake. That's what I'm talking about. I've been there once. Had a, what's that? Had a great time. Oh, in Cozumel? Beautiful place. Oh, Cabo. Yeah, but Diane, if you're there, I don't know if I got Cabo money. Cabo sounds, the name alone sounds like an expensive place. Somebody let me know. Is Cabo expensive? Is it, or is it like uh, Cozumel? That's lame. They don't, they don't test anyone else and, and shut down. Yeah, you're right. Well, this is, this is what Ron DeSantis is trying to put out, right? They, they see it as overreach, which on one end, of course, I agree. Makes sense. Jay, in your mind, are sailings going to happen in Florida in September? I'll, I'll, I'll con just continue to say what I've been saying about these sailings that are happening in, in August, September, November, the rest of 2021. Keep an eye out for what happens with these sailings between, let's say, Saturday with the Celebrity Edge and all of July sailings. Because we got a ton of ships between Carnival, Royal Caribbean. Uh, all these ships are getting ready to set sail. So keep an eye out for what happens with the July sailings, and they should give us a pretty good indication as far as what's going to happen. For the rest of the year, that is. It, because, it could because the person had Delta, the Delta variant, which is crazy contagious. Yeah, that's what they say. I guess there's always going to be a, a variant or something going on. Actually, Cancun is more expensive than Cabo. I, I, I figured. Thank you. Thank you. Well, for that reason, I ain't got Cabo money. <laughs> oh, we almost hit 200. Guys, make sure you hit that like button if you're just joining in. We got 180 people in here, and I know we can get the 200 likes, guys. Hit that, hit that like button. I'd really appreciate it. Cabo is not expensive. I don't know. It depends who we're talking about here. After experiencing the, the full cruise, expensive, I don't, I don't want less. Oh, what, how am I going on a cruise? Why do you stay in Cozumel? I've never flown there. Would love to. Oh, where do you stay in Cozumel? I, I book ex almost exclusively Airbnbs. So we have a, a house that we booked, a full house that we booked with Airbnb. It, it was literally like 25 bucks a night. We're here for five nights, so it wasn't expensive at all. It's literally right off of the main strip. So that, that's what I do. Now, Gibbon, if you want to stay, let's say where I am, there's a hotel here called uh, Hotel Barracuda. You can stay here for about 80 bucks a night, but I'm just not big on it. Hey! Cabo is cheap. Okay, good to know. There we go, guys, with notifications. Scott, that's what I'm talking about. Guys, hit that like button. We got to get to 200. I might do a backflip or something today. Who knows? ABC lead story, rare, rare vaccine heart problems. I have to check that out after this. Now, given, we're going to see these stories continue to pop up because that's just how the game works. We're going to see all this little fighting and, and politics and health issues back and forth. Backflip while doing the Carlton. I don't know how good that would come out. I could try it. I'm pretty comfortable with my backflips. I can do the Carlton, the Carlton when I'm doing it. I'm sure I could. I don't know how it would look. No cruises from, from Tampa until September. Yeah, oh, don't, don't, don't remind me. I wish there was. I really do. But hey, it is what it is. What are you going to do? I'm trying to think. There was a question I wanted to ask you guys. Oh, so look, I'm, I'm thinking of starting a, uh, another YouTube channel. Just uh, like one that's on like general travel, like not getting it mixed up with this one, but just talking about just maybe giving people like budget tips, how to travel from, uh, let's say, Cancun over to here, because I was able to do so in about 15 bucks. Just giving you guys like your average Joe travel tips and just showing you guys the experiences and whatnot. Like when I go scuba diving, I don't know if I put it on this channel. Uh, I'm thinking about starting another YouTube channel. 
So let me know how you guys will feel about that, especially since I'm going to be doing a lot of traveling moving forward with everything opening back up. Do you think the Edge will sell this weekend? I hope so. I believe as of right now, it still has the green light. We'll have to see. I would subscribe. Thank you. At this point, at this point, I'm going to let me on the cruise. I, if I die, <laughs> I, I die. <laughs> That's funny. That'd be cool. Okay, good to know. Good to know. My wife and I are going on the Mardi Gras in October, and we want nothing but openness without restrictions. I agree. I don't blame you. I don't blame you. Yeah, thank you. About the Edge, guys. The Edge is set to sail this weekend. There is no talks of cancellations or delays or anything like that. As of right now, Celebrity Edge is set to sail. Jay, you're my favorite. No, you're my favorite. I appreciate it. Seriously, you guys are the best. You have no idea. They say our shots we have already received are good for the Delta as well. Well, there's going to be a lot of information coming out with this, this Delta variant and whatnot. Do it. Don has two channels that he's making money on. Yeah, you're right. Well, technically, I have three channels. So to have another one, why not? Which I got to get back on my other one, just teaching people about YouTube because I love it. How to make money on YouTube, how to go full time and all that other good stuff. Jay, do a channel number two. Well, this will be channel number three. So, uh, yeah, I'll let you guys know. I got a bunch of footage, so I might be documenting, just showing you guys how to get from Cancun, for example, over to Cozumel. Because naturally, a lot of people, if they're not taking a cruise, they're flying into Mexico from Cos or Cancun. So I'll show you guys the shortcuts. I mean, there's expensive ways to do it. There's cheap ways to do it. So I'll talk about both in my video. So that's how I'm going to break the ice, I guess. And uh, by the way, so starting tomorrow, I'm going to be vlogging, uh, pretty much showing you guys what it's like over here in Cozumel right now. I'll be putting it on this channel. I'll be going like a whole tour. I'm going scuba diving out here. We're going jet skiing. We're going to check out the cenote in the center of the island. We're also going to be checking out a horseback riding place too. Got a lot of cool stuff that I'm going to put in the vlog and I'll be putting on this channel just to, just to give people an idea of what to do here in uh, Cozumel. You got your shot. Now you seem fine. Are you relieved? Yeah, I'm relieved. I mean, guys, the thing is, I've never been objected to the shot, right, to the, the vaccine. But you also got to understand the long-term effects. There's no telling what can happen between now and the next five, ten years. I'm kind of worried about that, if, if, if I'm being honest. I really am. Your show is extremely informative. Keep up the great work. That's the plan. Thank you. I, I appreciate that. Seriously, thank you. What's that? Uh, Sally Rains, 200 plus likes. That's what I'm talking about. Let's keep it going. We can get to 300, I think. I want to know how you travel for weeks on end. I, budget traveling. I'm telling you, um, there, there's a lot of ways to travel. And I will never be one of those guys that need to, to, to live in luxury. I don't. The Airbnb that we're staying in, it's a full house. Everything's clean and whatnot. It's beautiful. We're right off the beach and whatnot. So I don't, what, what more do I need? I'm good at finding flights too. So uh, that's, that's probably why. But I'll be making another channel. I don't have a name for it yet, guys. So I know a lot of people are asking for it. Whenever I post it up, if you guys haven't joined my Facebook group, go join it because I'll be posting it over there. I'll post it on this channel too whenever I make a video. But uh, I'll, the, I'll primarily gonna, I'm primarily going to post it on my Facebook group. Have my second shot on Monday. I just feel bleh. Nah, I, I shoot. I have, after the Johnson Johnson, I'm telling you, I felt... Mm. Nothing specific. I just feel sick and injected. Sight is still hurting. Hope people hope you feel better soon. I really do hope you feel better soon. Latoria, what's going on? How you doing? I love seeing the anchors. A shout out to everybody joining the Ship Life crew. I keep saying it. And I got to get back on track. I apologize to everybody within my my private uh, group on my my YouTube channel. I apologize. I keep saying I'm gonna give you guys a private uh, live stream. I will be doing that very soon. So just stay tuned. Do your thing, bro. Enjoy life. Didn't you say you were going to do a backflip? I said I was going to maybe do the Carlton. You guys want me to do the Carlton? I can do that right now if you want. Up to you guys. Awesome. Yeah, yeah, that's the plan. But uh, so look, while I'm out here in, in Cancun, uh, I know I've been asking, there's a couple places I'm going to go visit. Is there anywhere specific you guys want me to go while I'm out here? Because I'll be putting together a couple videos. Going to do a vlog and whatnot too. If there's anything specific you want me to check out while I'm here, because keep in mind, though, most things on the strip are closed down. You and Lauren should do the Carlton together. <laughs> well, Lauren won't do it. Casino comps tell me more. Are you talking to me about the casino comps? Hello, Chicago represent. How is everybody? Hey, Chi Town. That's what I'm talking about. If you didn't know, that's, that's where I'm originally from. South side of Chicago. Got a lot of family. They moved over to Harvey and whatnot now, but it, it isn't much better these days. Sherman, thank you for the $5 super chat. I appreciate it. Thank you. Jade is getting in. Hey, Kevin Jackson, how you doing, man? I hope you're doing all right. 
Make sure you hit that like button as you're coming in. I'd appreciate it. You must be a Sox fan if, Sox fan if you're on the south, from the south side. No, I'm, I'm not. No. <laughs> Yeah, so let me know, guys. I mean, I'm going. I'm gonna go check out the Mr. Sancho's and all the other cool spots. So just uh, be prepared. I'll, I'll be putting a little vlog together. I think it's gonna be fun. What's that? So my sister's a first responder and was healthy. It's been weeks since she's been fully vaccinated with the Moderna vaccine. And very sick. And it's very sick. Yeah. I've been hearing on and off things all along. I, I really have. Like, there's there's a lot of stuff going on. Again, but no matter what, people are going to feel one way or the other about it. Vax is a choice. Yeah, you're right. I don't want to get into all that because it can cause a... Like, let, 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 come here. Let me get a little bit more. Come say hi to everybody. Come here. I'm naked. You're not naked. You're in a bikini. It's okay. Come on. Come here. Come here. Come here. Look at my little Hello. glass on. Hey, everyone. <laughs> what are you doing? I just want this. No, 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 no. This is one my more, older one more. euros. One more. One more. Please, one more. Give me one more. There is too much to clap for you. Hello, everyone. Hello, the ship life fam. <laughs> what did somebody say? Hold hey. on. Oh, somebody asked about shadow banning. I'm expand I'll explain that in a minute. Uh, Sarah, give me one second. And then somebody else. Uh, come on, ship life. You have to get at least five channels. You must overtake Tony and Don. Come on. One is hard enough. Guys, if you knew what I went through today trying to upload a video. Lauren saw me throwing stuff around all over the place. It took me hours. He got crazy. He got crazy. Oh, man. If you guys knew, especially after my video being shadow banned yesterday, it was, it was horrible. Horrible. Oh, look. So, by the way, shadow ban essentially is when, let's say, a social media platform. <laughs> some Yeah, yeah, she, she does. Uh, she, I'm hurt. I'm hurt. <laughs> like, so bad. The back, I, I won't show you the back, but the back is like full tomato. Yeah. Full Look, so uh, shadow banning essentially is when a social media platform, which I think goes beyond social media, but anyway, in my case, a social media platform stops people from viewing and it stops showing off your video to other people when it comes to the algorithm and letting it being able to be seen. So usually with YouTube, the all of it is organic. Yesterday I posted a video and apparently because there is presumably a, an illegal substance behind me in the background, even though it was just ferns or whatever, YouTube demonetized my video and since YouTube isn't making money off the video, it will not show the video to anybody. It won't promote the video. So the only way my video is getting seen is the people that are getting that are hitting the notification bell and maybe a couple people here and there. Put that on the certain them. I will definitely. Yeah. Yes, if you talk too much about the vaccine too, YouTube will pick it up and shadow ban you. They censor, the censor is heavy, censorship is heavy. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, especially at the beginning of this pandemic. You couldn't say doctor, you couldn't say hospital, you couldn't say virus. They shadow banned all your videos, which means nobody saw it and it, it, you'd make no money off of it either. It, it, it sucked, it was horrible. It's not as bad as it was, but it still is pretty bad. All right, I'm leaving. Okay. Give me that. Wait, one more. Give me that, I'm leaving. All right, see you later. Bye. This is why I like Odyssey as a platform. What's Odyssey? I never heard of it. Do they do they pay? <laughs> mm -hmm. Silly. <laughs> no, no, it's not silly. It's burning. No. I hate the vaccine was made so political. I've been saying that all along. Scott Weber, see you later, man. Thanks for coming in. I appreciate you. Thank you. So for that sunburn, sunburn, fine. What's that? Find you an aloe. Oh, we have we have aloe. We're good. I gotta check out Odyssey. I've never heard of it. And I got some. I got someone who can rub my. my back I'm not rubbing your back. Nope. Rub my back I'll, I'll, I'll think about it. Uh, uh, <laughs> All right, I will. Uh. <laughs> She's adorable. Love her accent. I know. I know. The French. <laughs> but if you could talk out, I can yeah. talk more like that. Oh, seriously, Lauren. Yeah, like <laughs> Vinegar also works. Yeah. Well, they use the vinegar out here for the uh, the sea urchins. Don't don't step on those things. They're big and black and, and spiky. Oh, no, I was saying goodbye to your girlfriends. Oh, I was worried for a minute. I'm like, did I, did I say something wrong? I saw like five people say bye, and I'm like, what no, happened? Say bye. Oh, no, I thought I did something wrong. I was worried. You will smell like a pickle for a bit. It's definitely, they're talking about the vinegar. <laughs> if, you, if, you, if you use vinegar for your, your sunburn. I want. Thankfully, I don't have to worry about that, so I'm good. Vinegar, vinegar is good for a jelly, jellyfish sting. When did you leave Chicago? When I was like, I was literally like seven. So yeah, I, I, I'm Florida grown. Let's, let's put it that way. Florida native. She has good energy. Yes, she does. 
What video equipment do you use? Well, I'm using my iPhone 11, and as far as the mics, I'm using the uh, Rode, what is it, the uh, Rode Wireless Go 2. They're, they're brand new. So the ones have been out for a couple years, the twos just came out a couple months ago, and they are absolutely amazing. You think, but you can get burned as well, you know. Uh, no, I can't. Somebody with a lighter complexion than me, yeah, yeah, I guess you can get cancer too, but the thing about cancer that people don't talk about with sun cancer, the sun itself, yeah, you can get a lot of it to the point where you get cancer, but it's typically the sun, the sunscreen that you're putting on and the chemicals that are getting ingrained into your body in the combination with the sun. That's why a lot of people are getting sunburned. Do the Carlton. Oh yeah, I guess I owe you guys the Carlton. Here, give me a second. Please post a link to your channel so you start a channel. I have to find it. Uh, if you type in, if you type in uh, J, J Alexander YouTube, you should be able to find it. Here, let me see. Guys, by the way, I lost my tripod on the bus yesterday. I'm, I'm really, really, really uh, angry about it. So I got this little like cheap tripod. That's why you see the camera like hey, tilting hey, back hey, and forth. This is mine, so yeah, well, it's, it's Lauren. It, it, it's horrible. It's horrible. At least you have something. Look, they want me to do the Carlton. Here, give me a second. You have a second channel now? I've had one. I just haven't uploaded it in a couple weeks. Well, since I've been to Mexico. <coughs> Look, check it out. Here's your Carlton. Lauren, they said you got to do the Carlton, too. Huh? The Carlton. You got to do it with me. Do Come do the Carlton with me. The Carlton? Yeah, the Carlton. The Carlton. The Carlton. Come on. Are you really going to do it with me? No? Come here. Come here. Guys, Lauren's just going to do the Carlton. But you guys got to hit the like button, though. Lauren's going to do the Carlton for the first time ever. Come on. Let me see. Uh, what's your Facebook account? Just a Facebook account. Just type in. So... You can find a link to my group page in the stream, and then from there you can add me on, on Facebook. Do you know how to do it? No, I don't know how to look, do it. Look, so you just take this, right? You just come here, but you gotta have a, you have a smile because otherwise it doesn't look good. Look, no, no, no. Well, uh, I don't think she has rhythm, guys. So look, so you just here, huh? Huh? You step, 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 and then you just kind of little little bob with it. I can't. Are you ready? Look, all right, here we I go. Can't, I can't, I can't. Check it out. All right, ready? Five, six, seven, eight. Huh? Left first. Left first. Yeah, ready? Five, six, seven, eight. Uh, uh, uh. She, you can tell she's thinking about it. Here, we'll try it one more time. Ready? Five, six, seven, eight. There you go. <laughs> I'm gonna have a car. I'm, I'm teaching a class, guys, when I get on the ship for the group cruise. It's gonna be great. Joke, joke, joke. We're gonna have a group cruise, and we're gonna have a class, a Carlton class. It's gonna be great. Y'all saw that? Look, guys, give Lauren a like for that because that, that is amazing. My wife and I found out Jamaica and, and the black people don't get sunburned. It's a huge myth. I guess if we do, we don't get it as easily because I've been in, in the sun for hours. Hours. No problem. Now, I, I get blacker and darker and then blacker and then more darker after that. But I've never gotten sunburned in my life. And I spend a lot of time in the sun. So if I do get sunburned, I don't get it as easily as, as, as somebody else. I can promise you that. A Carlton deck party. That's what I'm talking about. We're gonna do it. I'm gonna call NCL and let them know we're coming through. We need a, we need an unlimited supply of Oreo cheesecake and, and and music that we can do the Carlton to. I like it. I want everybody to say you did an amazing job. Thanks. Oh, we, I gotta touch her up a little bit. We gotta Thanks. get her some rhythm. I love you, but do not lie, please. Do not lie. <laughs> I know I'm not a great dancer. That's okay. I cannot sing. I cannot dance. I'm okay. I have a lot of skills <laughs> otherwise. You use? I don't have any DJI products. I want to get a drone. Oh, uh, I think it'd be great. Lauren and I are going to get a drone. Black people do get sunburn. I experience on every cruise. I guess it depends on the person. I've just, I've never personally gotten sunburn in my life. Never gone through it. Yeah, I've, I've never gotten sunburn. That's what I'm saying. I'm not saying people that, that are my skin color don't get sunburn. I'm just saying I don't. I've never got it. And I spent a lot, even since I was a kid, I've been athletic my whole life. And I used to be outside in the sun playing football and soccer and everything else all day and flipping around. Never got sunburned. Same here. I live in Seattle. It rains a lot here, so I get burned on overcast. Woo! That's horrible. My wife was sunburned bad. I've been diagnosed with having an allergy to sunshine now. Wow. Yeah, I'm just telling you, I, I don't have that issue. That's all I'm saying. I've never been sunburned, and I can promise you I've spent a lot, a ridiculous amount of time in the sun. Never gotten sunburned in my life. Hopefully it stays that way. Try doing the Carlton after eating 10 Oreo cheesecake. I will. Just be ready for it. 
I'm dark and I've never gotten sunburned. I get darker. That's what I'm saying. We, like, I, I can get so dark, I'll get purple. But that's, that's about it. I don't like it. <laughs> I'm dark, but I can never get sunburned. Get darker, my, my hair gets sun bleached, but A, I tell you to wear sunscreen because of skin cancer. Yeah, you're right. But again, the problem with that too, from what I've understood about skin cancer, the people that get skin cancer from the sun, for example, you also, in combination with the chemicals that are in, let's say, the incorrect sunscreen or the cheap sunscreen, sunscreen that you might be wearing, the chemicals that are combined with that on top of the sun also is a contributing factor to sun cancer that you might get. Just a, just a heads up. I'll give it. I'm not a doctor, but purple like Barney. That's what I'm saying. I get so dark, I turn purple. I've seen it. It happens. No sunburn, though, for me. Beautiful scenery. Oh, no, guys, I'm, I'm like Don. This is actually a green screen. This isn't real. It's not real. At the Tempe Nicoladas, nobody will care. <laughs> You're right. Yeah, this isn't real. I'm, I'm actually pulling a Don's Family Vacations and using a green screen. I need to get one of those when I get back home. Typical Jersey girl, Italian, dark skin, baby oil, would admit after 27 years in Florida, this Arizona heat is sun, sun is super intense. Love me some sunshine and outdoors. Hey, that's what I'm talking about. You're lucky to have never been sunburned. I went to the Bahamas in June of 2016 and got roasted. Had to lay in my room for three days on the ship. Well, I've heard a lot of horror stories, never had it. By the way, look, I've been trying to tell Lauren all along, right? Lauren was, was extremely angry yesterday for no reason whatsoever, couldn't figure out why. I've been telling her when she was over in France because over there they don't really, when you go to France and you go to other parts of the, of the world that isn't let's say the US or maybe uh, the UK, they don't use like centralized air conditioning and heating. Over there they'll open the window and whatnot. And when you go there, if you talk about air conditioning, it's something that is, is so foreign to them. And Lauren used to always talking about me using air conditioning when I'm at home. I said, I live in Florida, it's hot. She didn't realize until she got here how hot it gets. She was so hot, she was angry. It was, it was crazy. It was crazy. I tried to tell her, though, that, that, that sun is a monster. Just got one trying to figure out how to use sun, how to use a green screen. I have no idea. I couldn't tell you. I'm not a tech-savvy guy at all. <laughs> what is it? Hot, hot gory? <laughs> hot and angry? <laughs> yeah. She was, she was angry. She finally came out. She was angry for no reason. Justin, what did you do? I, I, we were on the uh, Ultramar, the ferry over here, and it was extremely hot. And we were, we were sweating bullets trying to get to our Airbnb. She, she, she finally admitted. I said, what's wrong with you? Why are you so angry? She goes, I'm hot. And I said, oh, I told you. Remember I told you months ago when we were over in France? She didn't want to believe me. Everybody gets mad when they're hot. Now imagine being in Nassau with the mask on and you run around all over the place. That's, that's irritation, trust me. I was there. I've seen it. What are the prices like for food and drink where you're at? Big increases or moderate? Not big increases at all. Now, given, I'm not going to lie, where I'm at right now, no name, I get a crew discount, even though I'm not crew anymore, but they, they recognize me, been coming here for years. But uh, most places, the prices are, are fairly cheap. I would imagine that once the regular passengers start coming back and regular tourism starts picking up a little bit, prices may go up a little. Just, just a little, but it depends where you go. I guess it doesn't get too hot in France. It does, but it just depends on your location. Oh, look, we're working our way up to 300 likes. Guys, we can do it. We got uh, seven minutes left. If you guys are just joining in, we got almost 200 people in here. Make sure you hit that like button. I'd appreciate it. It's 102 where we are, where I am in Texas today. And uh, wind blow 20. Feels like being in a blow dryer. <laughs> Interesting. Interesting. Look, we got to get back to the cruising, guys. Let's go. So when is your next cruise, Jay, and what cruise line? I'll be on the inaugural sailing for the Carnival Mardi Gras, and I'm so excited. I can't wait. Look, so uh, about cruising. I'm, I'm still waiting to see what's going to happen when it comes to the CDC. You got to wonder with everything and how everything is lining up, how all this is going to end. Because the let's say we have the cruise, the first cruise with Royal Caribbean, the Freedom of the Seas, is sailing on July 2nd. They just had their test sailing. And they also had representatives on board the, uh, the test sailing as well. So you got to wonder what they're going to do because July 2nd is the deadline for the CDC to talk to the court and try to figure out a more narrow set of guidelines for them to keep this framework up and it just basically still become kind of law as opposed to just a guidance system. Because starting on the, what is it, the 18th 
it will just become guidance and that's it. Now, in coincidentally, if you look at the 19th, the following day, that's when the public health declaration either is going to be, they might do it a couple of days prior if they're going to reinstate it or extend it. And it's also the day that it could potentially expire as well. So we got a lot of dates coming up. I'm probably gonna make a separate video talking about what possibly could happen and what could not happen. We'll, we'll, we'll see. But just pay attention between now and next month. It's gonna get really interesting. A lot is going to happen, guaranteed. Hey, that green screen of yours is slow. It's getting rowdy in the background. Yeah, I, I forgot. I, I got to put it on a loop when things are calm, but hey, it, it's working out. Are you going to do an Alaskan cruise this year? I have to. I'm trying to figure out what the best plan is because there's so many different sailings and whatnot going on. I'm going to figure it out. I will definitely be figuring it out, but I want to go on an Alaskan sailing this year. That might be my next cruise. I'm working with my travel agency, which by the way, if you guys haven't checked it out yet, we have Sunsets at Sea. It's our new travel agent partner. Guys, check them out. They'll give you an amazing deal. Uh, Kimberly, she's a good friend of mine. Really, really cool person. Make sure you have the best experience possible. That is our new partner with the Ship Life. So make sure you guys check them out. And that's who I'll be booking with as well. Bring back some ice from Alaska. <laughs> Might have to. Get some, get some Diane money and go on the Princess to Alaska. Hey, look, I'll need, I'll need our moderator Diane's money because the Princess is not cheap. She have a green screen with a clock in the background. What if I just like randomly put like a, a floating clock in here somewhere? That'd be cool. Is Cozumel surviving without tourism? Uh, no. <laughs> I guess that'd be the question. If you go down the strip here, which again, I have a, uh, a vlog coming out soon, guys. We're doing some recording between now and the next two days while I'm out here. I'm going to show you exactly what it's like over in this area right now because uh, it's not good. There's people coming here, and of course the tourists that are coming here are enjoying it because there's no tourism. Everything is pretty much free reign to go do whatever you want for pretty much uh, cheap. But it sucks to see, even when I'm at right now, no name bar. They're dependent on a lot of the crew members when the cruise ship's coming in. It's, it's a no name bar, it's four crew members. They're empty, they've been empty for the past 15 months, along with all the restaurants that have been shutting down throughout all of this, so. It'll be nice to see things getting back to normal. A good sign is the Grand Prix in Long, Long Beach will will be held this September. So it looks good for a carnival restarting over here. Oh, in California, yeah. I wanna go on the panorama. I might have to jump on the inaugural sailing. Well, it depends on the price. If the CDC lets down restrictions, cruise ships aren't going to slack with restrictions. They wanna stay in business. So I've been saying this. A lot of people have been, not a lot, but I've seen people that are preaching doom and gloom. Thank you, Scott. Yeah, guys, hit that like button. We're almost at 300. A lot of people preaching doom and gloom and whatnot to the cruising industry. If the framework goes away, if the CDC is not in charge, I think it'll get better. The cruise lines have, so to speak, done their homework. They know what to do. They know what health and safety protocols to implement. They're going to be okay. Can crew get off the ships? No, they can't. I actually got to do a video, uh, maybe tomorrow. It depends what I got to do a recording, but I'm gonna do a video specifically talking about what's going on with the crew, because I think people need to understand. The crew members are, uh, you know, obviously they're, be they're happy to be back on board, but there are some crew members that are going through it because of the restrictions and them not being able to disembark in the ports of call. So I'll be, I'll be definitely talking about that in the not so distant future. Thank you for the plug, Scott. Yeah, guys, make sure you join that Facebook group. I'll be plugging my new channel in there as well. The Canadian ban is suspended, uh, what's that, has, it's suspended cruising from Seattle, signed by our president. You mean has suspended, Tom, right? I don't know, it seems like they kind of made the wrong decision, banning cruising for a full year. That's insane to me, it really is. No discussion, no, no talks, no nothing. Us Seattleese are excited for cruising and tours. Oh, I bet. I bet. Who banned? Sorry, is this is this new? Are you talking about the Canadian cruise ban for cruise ships? Or are you talking about a new a new ban by by Canada? Or are you talking about the cruise ban that's in place until 2022, March 2022? Hey, look, we're almost at 300. Guys, hit that like button. I know we can do it before we get out of here. We got what uh, two or three minutes. I might stay a little bit longer. But uh, it depends, my phone's dying. And I wanna go uh, scuba diving, not scuba diving. I wanna go snorkeling. Water is beautiful, by the way. 2022, okay, you're talking about that one. Yeah, yeah. What's that? Uh, this is Alexis, your Alexis Harper. Uh, when does Yokohama, you supposed to be start running now? What do you mean? Yes, that's the one I was talking about as well, but Scott says it's on pause. Oh, the ban is on pause? Are they making amendments or, or changes to it? I mean, if somebody in Canada has some, some the scoop, let me know. 
JJ Cruz getting on the group cruise, getting the group cruise going, I believe. Oh, really? For for what day? I mean, I have the option to do the group cruise this year, but to me, I believe that next year will probably be a little bit more appropriate, and a lot of people would more be a little bit more willing to do the group cruise instead of trying to set it up right now so soon with everything going on, all this uncertainty. Thanks, Scott. The PVSA is on pause. That's how they can cruise to Alaska. Oh no, you're yeah, you're talking about. Not you, Scott, but I guess uh, somebody else was talking about everything going on as far as the temporary amendment to the PVSA. I thought somebody was saying that something's been changed on Canada's and as far as them pausing their ban on cruising until 2022. Little confusion there. Did you decide where the group cruise will be cruising? I'm talking to my the uh, travel agent that we're partnered with up right now, so we're going to talk with them and, and figure out something. We'll know soon, but I'm going to ask all you guys. I'm going to look at a couple options as far as the sailings, and I'll make a decision soon. Six more to 300 likes. Oh, we can do it. Guys, hit that like button. I know we can get to, to 300. I'm waving to you behind you under the blue tent. Mm -hmm. Who? Umbrella. Who's waving to me? I am so confused right now. Apparently somebody's waving to me. Y'all see somebody? Just joined the Facebook group. Thank you for the person who posted it. Good, good. It looks nice where you are, Cozumel, Mexico. Who is waving to me? Is it that girl over there? I, I don't know. I'm, look, whoever's watching in the blue tent, I guess, come over and say hi. Cause I'm, I'm legitimately confused. Apparently somebody's, is somebody trying to play prank on you? Yeah, <laughs> I'm so confused right now. Hey, we did it, 300 likes, I'm talking about. What's up, Scott? The Port of Vancouver has told the Premier of BC they want cruising back in BC. Oh, I, I'd hope so. That's all they know right now. Yeah, I talked about it today. They're worried about the, the lost revenue. Yeah, well, you're talking about millions, if not billions of dollars. Oh, they're pranking me. Oh, okay. I was confused. I'm like, is, is she watching my live stream right now? It's weird. There's some new information on Canada, but I was at work not paying attention. Yeah, I made a video on the latest news from Canada today, unless something else has come out since then. Bill introduced uh, to get stops in Canada for a no and non-stops from U.S. Yeah, I know. There's, there's three bills technically right now. Jennifer, thank you so much for the $5 super chat. I appreciate you. Scott Weber, I thought it was a green screen. Oh, thank you, Scott, for the numbers. $4.2 billion in losses. And you're talking about hundreds or thousands of jobs that are at stake. Well, probably thousands, tens of thousands of jobs that are directly and indirectly tied into this. So we got to get back into operation. But Canada kind of, I hate to say it, shot themselves in the foot with this one because uh, cruise lines ain't trying to go back if they don't have to. They, they'd rather have the option. I mean, I don't blame them. They'd rather have the option to go over there as opposed to, you know, not just making it optional for their, for their guests. What is that? My name is Alexis. When is cruising starting from from Brown with Veritiv? I want to ask if ask you if you have uh, have to wear like I'm I'm so confused with that one. You got me there. You're gonna have to rewrite that one because man, I don't know. Maybe it's the drinks getting to me. I don't know. I'm about to go dive in this water in a little bit, guys. It is crystal clear under there too. I'm going scuba diving soon. Can't wait. Yeah, so, oh, man, guys, I'm going to get out of here in a little bit. Not right now, backflip. No, I don't know if I can do a backflip right now. I'm all tired. It's been, I've been, so I've been sitting here literally all day. I had this issue with my uh, video upload. I've been here literally all day, all day long. I'm tired. All I want to do is go in the water, go swimming, get near some sea urchins, but not touch it. I'm not trying to cry right now. Yeah, it's not the drink. <laughs> Do you have an under underwater camera? Yeah, we got a GoPro. Yeah, I got some footage coming soon. Don't don't worry. Whenever I go scuba diving too, we got some cool footage coming. You guys are gonna absolutely love. So just stay tuned. I won't be able to go on the group cruises. I'll be with you in spirit. Hey, well that's all we need. That's all we need. Yeah, guys. So if, if you could help me out, if you can go to my latest video I just posted, because I hope it's not getting shadow banned still, but we'll have to see. Just at least go hit the like button. It'd go along with the algorithm. And uh, yeah, hit the like button on this one too, guys. I'm gonna get ready to get out of here in a second. before we lose this light. Don't touch the sea urchins, they may hurt a little bit. I heard, somebody stepped on one yesterday. And they had their kids pee on them for the, for the pain. 
GoPro, bane of my existence. No idea how to deal with that. Yeah, well, Lauren has one. I, I've never had one in my life. I want to get one soon, though. Bought one to go to Cuba. It does not do what I thought it did. <laughs> one, fa one fact, you used to wear mascara. What? Wear mascara Bahamas Cruise Line? What? I'm, I'm so confused. <laughs> The kids did what? So a guy stepped on the sea urchins, and they're 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 really scary. You go underwater, they're massive, they're huge, and they got really long spikes. And the problem is, I was talking to the scuba diver instructor. If if you step on one, the spike essentially will break off, and you can't. It's not like a bee sting. You can't just pull the stinger out because they're real flexible. It just has to kind of like melt into your skin or disintegrate or whatever it does. So I, I and I heard it's extremely painful. They're not poisonous, but I heard that the sting is pretty pretty painful, nasty. Don't want that to happen. So anytime I go in the water, I try to look around because they I, I jumped in the water once and it was literally like right in front of my face. Scariest thing in my life. They're, they're very black and large. Thank you for accepting my Facebook request. No problem. I'll check your last video when the live ends. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, just at least hit the like button. It'll go a long way. I gotta get vetted back into the algorithm. My videos are not doing well. Jay question, do you know if the cruise companies are letting, hold on, let me get out of this light, are letting the crew out while ships are important? No, they're not. They're not. I've been out here when the ships are here with Adventure of the Seas are here and I've been asking away. No, they do not. Do you have any, you have any merch as it will be good money earner for you, we will like it. Yeah, if you look under, I don't know if it's under the live stream, but under my regular videos, you'll have like my, my merch store that's right, it's literally engraved right into YouTube. You can check it out. It won't kill you, it just wish you were dead, it hurts. What, the uh, sea urchin? I'm not trying to get stung. Not at all. Ran into it once in Cape Cod. I was 10, not fun. Yeah, I, I'd rather not. Jellyfish aren't fun. I haven't seen any jellyfish out here, so I've been good. But yes, we do have merch. It, it's, it's in there somewhere. Anyway, guys, I think my phone's probably gonna die soon. Like, my, my computer wasn't charging it like I thought it would. But I'm gonna get out of here, guys. Now, here's the thing for those of you that are still here. I don't know for a fact if I'm going to do a video tomorrow because I'm going to start recording from my vlog. I'm getting a rental car, I'm going to show you guys around the island, so just be prepared for that. It should be a fun day, so I don't know, I'll probably try to at least do a live stream and we can kind of go from there. How do you guys feel about swimming with the dolphins in the Bahamas? I'm not with that. I'm not with that, to be honest. It depends on the place, but uh, I don't know, not my thing. Not my thing. I always wanted to, I used to want to be a marine mammal trainer, but it, it, I wouldn't go out of my way for the entertainment. Do you like to have your own cruise company? Uh, I wouldn't, mm, mm, I don't know about that. Uh, maybe something small one day, who knows? Maybe YouTube make, a, make me a millionaire and I can have like a, a cruise ship, a cruise line or something. <laughs> we'll see. Wishful, drink, wishful thinking, right? So it's a new t-shirt coming that says hit that like button. Are you, <laughs> are you an awesome sauce? Hey, we gotta talk to Scott about that. That's, that's his trademark. He's gonna have to get a kickback for that one. Who's gonna make the beds on the Bahamas Paradise cruise line? That's a good question. I have no idea. Swimming on the, with dolphins on the Cayman Islands next April. Hey, have fun. Nice. Why is he living the good life? I don't know. I'm thankful. I'll tell you that. I did it once. The dolphins are amazing and smart. No, dolphins are extremely smart. They're very intelligent. That person may be a troll. Yeah, probably. Anyway, guys, I'm going to get out of here before my phone dies. I appreciate all of you guys for tuning in. I know I kind of announced the live stream last minute, but thank you so much. I hope we got enough news out of the way for all you, and I hope you enjoyed. Hit that like button on your way out, guys, and uh, if I don't make a video tomorrow, I'll be sure to let you guys know on the Facebook page, which you should join, by the way, and we'll go from there. But I got some good content coming, so stay tuned, and I'll see you guys soon.